Hi, this is Scott Courier, and this is the fourth installment of Zaptic, my Silverlight web part framework for SharePoint 2010. And this weekend, it's been about improving the uh, look and feel of the interface um, and also bug fixing. Um, and what I've done is put in some new icons for the components that I'm building um, and an upload so that if you build a component, you can just sort of upload it here um, in, right into the catalog uh, from whatever directory. I'm working on the drag and drop right now. Um, I've also added a blue property bar, and what this is going to do is allow me to look at properties of the individual components. If I hit the delete, the and I hover over the red bar and click, that'll allow me to pull the component off of the catalog as well as the page. So that's good. So that I think makes it look a little bit uh, a little bit nicer. Um, the next thing I did is instead of a property editor for the individual component being in line. Um, as a pop-up, it's uh, fading into view below the bar, um, and you can see I'm actually getting this image off of the shared documents library, and it just pops back into place. Um, for the HTML web part, um, I've just put in some default HTML, but now I have the ability to add styles. So um, I have a style property here and the HTML here. Again, this is just default HTML that I found on the web that looked nice. Um, next weekend, I think I'll be putting in the property editors here, so um, we can update that. And of course, uh, this stuff is really working, so if I just put in number two, for example, you can see it just updates to two. And I can have multiple instances of this stuff as well. Um, we also have, obviously, besides the SharePoint connectivity back to lists such as uh, an image, um, let me just get rid of that. Um, I also have the client object model. Oh, and you can also see I have the icon for dragging working. Um, so this is an example of the line chart from the last video, but this time um, I'm taking it off a of chart data. So if I look at the um, properties here, you can see it's off of this web. Um, you can see the list name is chart data, which is this here, and these are the column names. So if I go to chart data, you, know, you can see this here. I can actually add a new item. Let's call this item F, and we'll make this one 25. And you can see F is now 25 on the chart. Um, so that's pretty much the update. Um, I hope you uh, are enjoying these uh, series of videos, as I am. Um, and hopefully this will be out there soon. It's not quite ready for prime time, but uh, we're getting close. All right. Thank you very much.